Oh. Okay, good morning. Alex here with Kyle. Did you just flick your hair? Yeah, um, we, we're out in front of the building. Alright, see ya. Uh, here out in Tan Fu District. And today, after I get this helmet off, uh, we are going to be hanging out with and visiting our friends who have been out here for a little while now. And they're like the nicest people ever, Josh and Jessica. And we've been wanting to do an episode of Ninja Teacher TV where we actually talk to some of our teachers out here. So yeah, it's going to be a fun day and we're going to go hang out with them, get some lunch and do a few things out here. So I got the helmet off. This is my new helmet if you guys didn't see the video by the way. It's just uh, a really good quality one. A little bit more expensive but worth it to protect your head. Get a certified one. Like there's a bit of a, a kennel here and yeah so might as well introduce you guys so uh, Josh and Jessica yeah you guys want to just say where you're from kind of thing yeah so we are from Florida in the USA and yeah we've been in Ho Chi Minh now for six months and we've been in Tanfu for five months you said you're going with the, the out of sight out of mind philosophy for your helmet yeah, I just leave it with my bike. You know, if you're gonna carry it around like you do all the time, then it's more effort than it's worth, I think. I think it's worth the effort. Yeah? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't get stolen, but I don't think it will. We usually pick the tofu and then a few of the sides. Alright, yeah. let you guys go first and see what you get. So we've got a nice big plate of vegetarian food and you guys have got to share how much it is for this plate of food. $10,000. $10,000. What, what is that in US dollars? Like 44 cents last time I checked. 44 cents. That's crazy. It's wild. And it's, what have you got there, Josh? I think like an eggplant, I'm not too sure. Some green beans, I think, and tofu. Nice. So pretty simple. And some crunchy tofu, it's really good. Yeah. yeah, I got some of that as well. Josh recommended the sauce on this tofu. So I'm gonna give it a shot. I think it's the shampoo I'm using or something, but it kind of makes my hair a little frizzy. So I needed to contain it today. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a responsibility, having long hair. So we just had lunch here, it was really good. Been having vegetarian food a lot lately. So this restaurant here, behind us. Josh, why don't you tell them what it has? Yeah, so this restaurant, they serve kangaroo, and it is delicious. Super cheap, fun place to hang out, and you get to cook it over a big fire. Like, uh, they put it at your table, so. Cool. It's cheap, so it's Does it? <laughs> what are you gonna get? I'll probably get black coffee today. It's always good. What are you getting, Jessica? Uh, mocha blended, so frappuccino. Yeah. So yeah, what made you guys want to start teaching? Because you start off in South Korea, right? I did. I actually learned about teaching from a guy I met backpacking in Nepal. He was teaching a year, traveling a year. So I was like, hey, that's pretty cool. And then when we graduated college, we're like, what do we do? So we looked into teaching and we were watching your videos and yeah, we just saw that South Korea had open doors and we just went with it and jumped in and it's been awesome ever since. We love South Korea and it's a great time there. We had great friends and fun things going on, but then yeah, we were ready for a change, and Vietnam was a really nice change for us. Uh, also, we got to travel a little bit while we were, we were in Korea, so 
we saw a lot of uh, Seoul, of course. Every weekend we would try to go somewhere new. And uh, we traveled to what, Hong Kong and Macau yes, in Japan. And Japan. I love it. It's really nice having the program to get us into the mode of teaching in Vietnam. Yeah, I think it's a great way to uh, to learn more if you want to be a teacher, to learn how to do it correctly. And I think the TESOL course through Ninja Teacher was a great way for us to learn how to teach in Vietnam in our Vietnamese classes. Yeah, so the big difference is it's way more relaxed with our teaching schedule. Um, in Korea, we were at school close to 50 hours a week and then wow. just for just the I guess desk warming and just being there at school all day. But here we, it's more relaxed. So we teach about 25 hours a week, and we get to just go in, teach our class, and then go home. So it's really nice. And our teaching is opposite. So it's night times and then weekends. But it's just the culture, I guess, here as well that they have a lot of classes on the weekend. I think there's a lot of flexibility with Vietnam. You can make it what you want it to be. You know, if that's teaching. A little bit of hours and traveling or if it's teaching a lot and that becoming your career I think you can choose what you want which I love mm. you know because we have two days off a week um, that we chose specifically and so we can take that time to go see another part of Vietnam or just hang out around town and also the pay is uh, much higher here so we're able to save more money than we were in Korea. So that was a nice perk, because it's cheaper cost of living here. So how do you find Tanfu district? We really like it actually. We want more of a cultural experience anyways. That's why we live here. Um, so yeah, we like living like the locals and there's a lot of great food around here. What would yeah. you say? It's very cheap, the, all the food options. We have all the Vietnamese food that's most expensive is probably 30,000 dong, which is just over a dollar maybe, and yeah. it's very cheap, so we eat a lot of street foods, and if we were feeling like Popeyes, there's one right on our road, so. Yeah, so we spend probably about four dollars a day, like when we eat Vietnamese food, would you say? Yeah. That's like on our cheap days, and then some days we spend more, depending on how we feel, you know, go to District 1 and get some Indian food, or, but we really love the food here, so. Fine with that. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you mentioned that there's a few friends you have here, like a smaller community of expats here. Yeah, quite a few of the people that we work with that live in our same area, so we can just hang out every once in a while, go to the water park. And for the people that might think it's too good to be true, because it does sound incredible with not teaching as many hours and the pay being so high, like the ability to travel yeah, as well. To travel. Yeah. It does sound too good to be true, but it really is this way, you know. I guess some people, like we were skeptical at first, like, oh, it sounds too good in Vietnam, you know, from what I think Vietnam to be. And yeah, when we arrived, it's just been wonderful, actually, with just the whole process with the course and some other things. But I would say definitely just do it. If you have that want to travel, see the world, make a difference, even if you don't know what you're what you want to do in the future. It's at least a nice way to have fun and to make a difference. Yeah, I would say with the challenges that come your way, just to be flexible, adaptable with the situation, because sometimes it's not in your control. Like we had a few bumpy spots with figuring out the visa situations and didn't know how it was all going to work out. But I think just being flexible and optimistic and just realize that this isn't our home, you know, that we're just really just traveling through in reality. So we kind of learn the culture and how to live. Sometimes I think people maybe come overseas and they expect it to be like their life back home, but it's a different country. So you have to give it a chance, maybe take a little bit more time and then you'll see that actually you do love it here. It's the people that are the least um, open to change and going with the flow that struggle the most from my experience. Just being patient and flexible, like, right. and that's part of the fun, like right. being out of your comfort zone. Right. It is a big adventure for people when they first yeah. come out, mm -hmm. and that's a good way to treat it as well, you know? You should think of it as, you know, when you get a job, you got to be a good teacher, you got to be professional, and, but 
the whole experience is, is a big adventure, right? And I think if you treat it like that, it's a great way to come into the whole experience. It's going to be amazing life stories when we're old people. Yeah. yeah. One time I was back in Nam. <laughs> back in Nam. <laughs> Are you going on a trip to Thailand soon, right? Taking a week and a half. Next, starting next week, we'll be traveling through Thailand. So. Going to the island, snorkeling and surfing, trying it out. It'll be really fun. Yeah, so we love teaching English. Uh, a lot of people we've been talking to, they're moving on to international schools, the people that want to continue teaching. So that's a something we're taking into consideration of if we want to continue our teaching route. What's your degree? Uh, I did music. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just a fun degree. Yeah. Didn't really think about it when I first did it, like what I would end up doing. I just want to do something that I loved. So I'm happy that I did it though, because I have a degree and I'm able to come here now and you know have a nice job. So yeah. I'm fine with how it worked out. Not sure on what the future holds, but we're excited and living life now, so I think that's kind of fun. <laughs> so we lesson plan about about 30 minutes to an hour per class. We usually do that the same day that we teach, so it's fresh in our minds. Plan like on Fridays, I plan four or five hours, but it depends on the class. So sometimes a week of classes is like two hours because I already have it planned. So I just make really good quality uh, lesson plans, hold on to them, and then I have it ready. I can read through it and I'm ready to go. And you're just saying that your kind of day-to-day -day life is quite relaxed, yeah? yeah? Yeah. Yeah, it's very chill. We're very simplistic, easygoing people. So our days consist of sleeping in, hanging out, getting lunch, coffee shops, just normal, typical day, just chilling. All I ever met you is for sure the one Yeah, some dragon fruit. Got the dragon fruit. Do you like mango seeds? What? I've actually never had those. You yeah, have them. really. Good, yeah. Josh, you're saying you want to fly in Nepal? Yeah, that'd be my hope and dream. Yeah. That'd be cool. But definitely, my goal is to fly the bush pilot. Yes, yeah, so where we come to get our dragon fruits. Yeah. It's our favorite fruit right now in Vietnam. So good. Some mangoes. So, so 16. Thousand dong, which is what is that? Yeah, less than a dollar for sure. Thirty thousand. Nice. Driving here, we came from District Three, and we went through Tan Bin District, and that's Tan Phu over there. District One is over there. So yeah, it was a bit hectic when we were driving through Tan Bin, but Tan Phu is actually quite nice and calm. I, I like it here. Yeah. Very calm. So I was just saying there that everyone seems very nice in Tan Fu and how have you experienced it? Yeah, everyone's really nice. They love to say hello. Yeah, we got the ponchos on because it's raining a bit out here, monsoon season. Yeah. How have you been finding the rainy season? I like it. It's really fun and interesting. It's not the whole day, right? Yeah. It's only for a few hours each day kind of thing, usually. It makes the weather a lot cooler and really nice to walk around at night. Yeah. Hello. 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 Uh, dogs on the back of the motorbike with the poncho over them. <laughs> so, you guys are going to get a little tour for us of your apartment? Yes. Cool, let's go. A really big area, open space. This is a lot of space, eh? Yeah. The first thing I liked about it was the view. Yeah. It's such a nice view. Ooh. It's a little rainy so you can't see as much, but... Got a washing machine. Yeah. Came fully furnished. Everything here was... I think the only thing we bought were these posters. <laughs> I think that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> got a TV and everything. Yeah. Fully furnished. Two bedroom, two bath. We pay 
100,000, which is like just over $4 for five 20 liter jugs. Supplies us for over a month. This is our room. Cool. Yeah, we have another bathroom here. So. Awesome. Just the typical Asian bathroom. Closets are huge too. This huge amount of space. We don't have a lot of things. So. This is our other bedroom. So if anyone wants to come visit, we can have them stay with us. When it's not rainy, you can see, I think, the edge of the city because it looks green, like a <laughs> layer of green. <laughs> Look at Carl, <laughs> he just got soaked. You're the only one without a puncher. <laughs> cool. oh, now they're gonna have to mop the floor. <laughs> <laughs> so in Korea, our first uh, apartment we had with our first tag one, I could touch the bed, touch the kitchen, and stick my foot in the bathroom. It was so tiny. Quite a lot more space than that, huh? Yeah, so step thankful. up in life. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow, that dragon fruit looks awesome. This is the kind of pinky purple one. Sometimes it's white inside, and uh, mm. so good. Yeah, I love dragon fruit. Yeah, so utilities, we only pay for electricity and water. The water is $150, six, seven dollars maybe, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. And we take showers constantly. Electricity, the most expensive bill we've had during the heat of summer has been 510 which is 24 US dollars. Yeah, so it's really good. Very cheap, and we always have AC going and all that, so. And the rent of the place? Yeah, the rent is 12 million, which I think is 529 US dollars. Mm -hmm. yeah, and amazing. that includes all the management fees, which. Motorbike parking, yeah, the security. So secure. We have a really secure building, so it's really nice. And, yeah. and also in comparison, in Korea, our studio apartment, we were paying every month over a hundred for utilities, but we paid an elevator fee, which was <laughs> close to, I think, $50. Really? <laughs> so we paid more for an elevator in Korea than all of our utilities. <laughs> so funny. And then Wi-Fi they set up for us, 1.2 million, which is like fifty, sixty, four dollars or something. Buy six months, get one free. <laughs> nice. <laughs> good deal. And it's good Wi-Fi connection. I haven't had any trouble with it. Hello. <laughs> That's so nice. <laughs> bye bye. That's so sweet. Of yeah. Me. He's never given me anything. So he says hi to you like all the time. Yeah, every day. He usually says, "Where you go?" Cute. So Jessica just went off to do some teaching. She had a two hour class at 4.30 to 6.30 and Josh was just staying at home. He didn't have any classes today. Um, their schedules are normally in the evenings and weekends. And Kyle and I are now just gonna get some buncha. This stuff is, is good. You might have, might have heard me mention that before. A couple times. A couple times. Yeah, I like the serving of meat here. It's really good chunks of pork. Chada. Today was really fun hanging out with Josh and Jessica. They're such nice people, so positive and adventurous. And honestly, they haven't said a single thing that was negative. Just, just really nice people and they really appreciate living out here. I think it's really nice when we get to hang out with people like that. So if you enjoyed this video and want to see more from other teachers uh, living out here, let us know in the comments below because I think it's really cool what we're doing here. I don't think anyone else has shared other people's stories like this. So stay tuned for more videos about life and teaching English abroad. And we'll speak to you soon. Peace.